Hello everyone, Savari Tech here, and in this video I'm going to show you a very effective way on how to install a software or an app without admin access. Do know that this video is for educational purposes only, and do not use it for malicious intent or anything that is not um, right. So, before we uh, start, I made a video on this on how to use an extractor tool to install a software, and if you haven't watched it, you can go back um, and do that. But um, for some programs, it didn't work, and it would show an error like this one. But um, on this video, I'm going to show how to uh, do that, install an app without admin access. And it works, I'd say, 95 to 99% of the time, if you really know what you're doing. So if you follow me, you should be okay. And we're going to do that in three steps. Um, first thing is you're going to need another computer on that you have that doesn't have admin restrictions. That can be your personal computer, it can be a friend's computer, your mom's, any computer without restrictions, right? So go to that computer. I'll switch to another computer here. And the first thing you want to do is you want to find the app you want to install, right? For this example, I'll use VLC Media Player. This uh, software requires admin access to be installed. I've tested it on a, a other computer with heavy admin restrictions and it worked. So we're gonna be using this one. So on the computer without the restriction, you're gonna be installing um, that app, right? It asks for admin user control, right? I say yes. And I'll fast forward here because your app will be different, of course. So, my app didn't really require much of me but to click next, next, next. Um, but once your installation is done, um, you're going to go to the apps directory. So that can be done by uh, right clicking the shortcut on the desktop and say open file location, right? And it's gonna take you to the directory where the app is installed. If by chance it gives you something where it's another shortcut again just right click on the shortcut and the shortcut is identified by this little arrow by it and say open file location again just do it again and it'll take you to the right one right but this one got us straight to there and i'm gonna go back one folder and we need this folder where the app is located at i'll take this right click and say compress to zip file um, it's telling me that you cannot compress it here. It'll send it to the desktop and go ahead and say yes. By the way, if you have a USB thumb drive, you can skip that uh, compressing step um, by just sending this to the USB thumb drive and then plug it into the computer where you do not have admin access. In. Once your zipping of the file is complete, um, you're going to be using you're going to be transferring it. The reason I zip it is because um, most cloud-based uh, uh, softwares require you to zip files to transfer. And we're going to be using this WeTransfer website. Go ahead and go to WeTransfer. If you have a Google Drive, just use that. Or Microsoft OneDrive, just use that. I'm using this because it's free to everyone. And I want to make things very inclusive here. Um, so go ahead and open. Click your zip file. And go to those three little dots if you're using WeTransfer, get transfer link, get a link, and then it will upload the thing to the cloud, right? And once it's done, you're going to copy this link. I'm going to click copy link and find a way to send it to the computer where you don't have admin access to. It can be via a text file on a USB thumb drive or just take a picture and retype it. Whatever you do, you're going to be using this link on the other computer where you do not have admin access to. Or you could email it there, right? So I'm going to take this link, right? And I'll see you on the other computer. We're going to be opening the browser here and put in the link that we used to upload the file. I went ahead and typed it, but it's always good practice to just copy paste. Um, here it's going to ask us to agree. 
we do agree and we're gonna get our file while this is downloaded um, I want to say thank you to everyone who uh, commented on my last video and said that they weren't uh, having much success with the other method so that's why I made this video so go ahead and show in folder here and you want to unzip it when you get that extract all extract All right, once the extraction is complete, um, you're ready to use the software. Again, location is not uh, a big deal. You can just click it here and the uh, software should open. Now, if you're gonna remove it, it's gonna ask you for admin access, um, probably, or you could just like go out there, shift, delete it, right? Um, but you have your software ready to use and as you can see, yeah, it, it opened, and I wish we had a video we could play in there, but it works. To do a little bit of cleanup here, I'm gonna take the this folder, not not the most outer one. I'll take this one that is inside, right? And I'll put it in a location that's a little bit more organized, like documents or somewhere in this PC. I'll still hold what I said in that last video. Program files is still a myth. Like um, you can put it anywhere and it'll work. For any, for that matter, you could still run it on the USB. I think if you use the USB method. So for most programs, you could do this right there and then just copy the exe, paste it on the desktop, and clean it up a little bit. VLC. And there you have your installed software ready for use. Um, let me know what you guys thought of this method. Um, it works for even big games like Modern Warfare and big files like that. Um, as long as you have enough space to transfer, which transfer only allows you to transfer like two gigs. But if you have a USB thumb drive, you're pretty much limitless. Um, don't forget to subscribe, like the video, and if you're interested in this video, turn on the bell notification, and that makes me very happy. So there you have it. See you on the next video.